People were out here on the streets yesterday marching through Liverpool, calling for a second referendum. Many I spoke to yesterday were very passionate about that. And this is something which Labour has kind of kept quiet on for the past two years. Their strategy has been to not focus too much on Brexit, to let the Conservatives tear themselves apart on this issue. They knew that there was a fissure in that party on what to do and they would watch it grow and then try to get into the gap between it and come to power when the party couldn't get a deal. And some will say that has been successful, but they now want to hear from Labour on what it is they exactly want. So yesterday they spent a couple of hours drafting a motion that will be voted on here, which says that if whatever deal the Prime Minister puts to Parliament doesn't pass, they will try to call for a second referendum, the so-called people's vote. There have been people across all the parties so far saying that they support this but if Labour takes this as an official position which Jeremy Corbyn and the uh, Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell just now speaking here said uh, they would uh, back if the party voted for it then that would put real pressure on the government then to do something about this. Real pressure indeed. This comes of course just days after Theresa May's original proposals on Brexit were rejected. How is this likely to unfold? Will the government be changing its position? Well, the government effectively had its checkers proposals shredded last week in Salzburg. They're now unsure on what to do. They're meeting today for cabinet because the prime minister goes away for the next couple of days to the UN General Assembly. So they're going to have a lot of hard talks around what to do. This meeting was meant to just be on what their immigration policy would be going forward to be announced at party conference next week. But now there's talk that they might be shifting with over half the cabinet possibly unhappy to a Canada plus 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 model, a sort of more basic free trade model. Theresa May is going to have to make her mind up quickly because she's going to have to announce something next week at party conference. But everyone here at Labour conference, Jeremy Corbyn and John McDonnell, have been at pains to say they would prefer, instead of a second referendum, a snap general election. There have been some reports over the weekend that Downing Street has been sort of gaming what that would be like, trying to put plans in place. There's been reports of polling going on in sort of marginal constituencies, but officially Downing Street saying we're absolutely not going to have a snap general election. But then again, they said that right up until the point where Theresa May called one last year.